Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making whipped body butters. We have some shea butter and we also have some mango butter as well. So besides other body butters that I use, I also use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and jojoba oil. As I'm pouring, I do have my bowl on top of a scale. So as I'm pouring, I can measure out how many grams of each oil that I do use in my body butters. So here I am, I'm just pouring in all my oils into my bowl. And then shortly I'll be adding in the butters, as you will see in a second. Here's my jojoba oil that's basically almost gone. So I'm just pouring in the rest of it and trying to get all the little bits out of the, of the container as I can because this oil is not cheap at all. <laughs> So now I'm just going ahead and adding in the butters. I already pre-measured them out onto the plates before I put them in. So here I am just adding in other butters. So once I have all the ingredients in, I do use the double boiling method to melt all the butters down. And then I also place it into the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour until it's completely solidified. So here it is, the butters melted completely. I wrap it and cover it before I put it into the freezer. Now that the butter is completely solid, but it's still not completely hard, it's still easy to whip. We're going ahead and whip it up for a good 25 minutes. So you're gonna see the process of whipping it and making sure that all the butter is whipped. You're gonna see the color of the butter change as well. It started off yellow and now it's turning into more of a white color and also the texture becomes fluffier. Kind of like whipped cream. A lot of people think that this butter kind of looks like ice cream or whipped cream, but you can see how it gets fluffier and it's very, very pretty. I really enjoy watching the butter change and form to a whole new different look because it did start off a really unpleasant yellow color, but now it's more of a fluffy, like I mentioned before, it looked like whipped cream. It looks yummy and very good. So now you're gonna see me stop the machine from whipping and we're gonna go ahead and try to make sure all of the butter is incorporated into the whole mixture. You don't want no hard anything left in the butter. So you kind of make sure you scrape the ends of the bowls, the outside of it, and make sure you get all the butter mixed very, very well. Cause you don't want anything to still be hard or solidified. You want everything to be a smooth consistency. Here's a quick sneak peek of the colors that I'm using for the body butters, the brown, the blue, and also a purple. So I am adding in the rosehip oil and vitamin E oil into my butters. They're good for skin as well. If you guys are interested in knowing like the amounts I measure all my body butters in grams, but if you're interested in knowing like the exact amounts, um, I might have my recipe for sale for like cheap, like $2, $5, something like that. But um, just let me know in the comments what you think. If you guys are interested in knowing my recipe to the exact amounts, not just how I make it, but to know like how much I put of each product. So here yeah, I'm just making sure that all my butter is very incorporated into the mixture. I'm scraping the sides of the bowls to make sure that nothing is missed. Like you see, there's a hard piece left in the butter. So I wanna make sure that there's no hard pieces left in the butter. 
I love this part. It just looks so good. It's so fluffy and smooth. This is how I love making my body butters. I love this consistency. Some people like a different type of consistency. Some people like it of a hard butter. Some people like a more loose texture. But I love this. Not too thick, not too hard. Just right. So here I am just separating the mixture because I have different scents and pigments that I'm using. So I want to make sure that I can get each color mixed very well. So here I am just separating the bowl for each mixture. So I'm starting off with the purple pigment for my lavender scent body butter. So I'm just adding a little bit to the mixture and then I'm going to whip it up very well. When you're dealing with pigments, you want to make sure that they're skin safe as well. So I know my pigments are skin safe. I also use it in my lip glosses that I make. If you didn't know, I do sell lip glosses as well. You can also shop for my lip glosses and body butters. The link will be below in the description. So here I am about to add the lavender essential oil. It's very good for at night. It's a soothing, calming, aroma so i really recommend the lavender scent especially before bed after you take a shower it just makes me calm <laughs> i really enjoy lavender and it's one of my top selling scents as well i hope you guys are okay with my recording this is my first time recording me making body butters for youtube so i was kind of unsure about the angles so i hope you guys are fine with how i was recording if not please let me know in the comments what you think i should change anything of what I was doing. I'll take any tips, any criticism because it's my first time. So, hey, I'm just trying things out for the first time. Now I'm adding in the brown pigment for our chocolate chip scented body butter. So I'm just making sure I whip it up very nicely and making sure that all the body butter has the pigment incorporated into it. As you can see, some parts of it is still white. So I wanna make sure that it's all mixed up very well. So now I'm adding in the chocolate chip scent. It smells just like cookies. Like when I say it smells like cookies, like chocolate chip cookies, like I'm not lying. It smells just like, it smells very good. I think it's perfect for the holiday season, either for yourself as a gift. If you know someone loves that type of scent, then you should get it for them. So here I'm just showing you how it looks after I whipped it up and make sure all the color pigment is incorporated to the body butter. It looks very good. Someone said it looks like cookies and cream ice cream which i can't deny it looks so good it looks delicious like whenever i'm making body butters it always reminds me of the whipped cream or ice cream so here i'm just placing the body butter inside this plastic bag i have the plastic bag inside of one of my jars to help make it easier to get the body butter into the bag so i'm just making sure all the butter i can get is inside the bag and it's not messy for me it makes it way easier to get inside the jars and it makes it faster so I recommend doing this way. Um, I know they have piping bags specifically for things like this. So one day I will purchase one of those, but for now, this is what I have at home is plastic bags to use to pipe in the butters. I did do the rest off camera, but I at least want to show you guys how I do it on camera for at least one of them. I think this is my favorite part, is watching how smooth the body butter goes to the jars. Like, I think it's just the best part. It's very satisfying to see your product go into the tube and see how creamy the texture is. So now I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the jars, for all the three scents, for the chocolate chip scent, the lavender scent, and I also made a blue raspberry scent off camera. If you didn't notice, there was a blue scent. Uh, not a scent, but a blue color in one of the bags. That was a blue raspberry. So I'll set that off camera, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe all my butters into these jars.
If you did not know, I also offer wholesale for my body butters in all scents. You can also customize the colors that you would like. So if you do are interested in wholesale options, I do have that available on my site. The link will be below. So yes, I have wholesale for a lot of my products. You can also check out the rest of my products that I offer besides retail. I do offer a lot of different things. So I love how they look. The blue raspberry is a new scent that I just tried out today. And I think I'm gonna add that on my site, but it smells really, really good. Now that I am finished drawing all my butters, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I was concerned about the angle because I don't know if you guys really can see what I was doing, but I hope you guys can still get a good idea of how to make your own butters. But if you're interested in anything, any products that I have, they'll be available on my site for retail and wholesale. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.